All right, hitting the road on our way to our first location, which is Page Auditorium. We may or may not pass Michael. I doubt, or Mom and Michael, I doubt it. Uh, if we do, I will flip the camera for the people to see. Uh, yeah, the lighting was fixed. It's because we were facing the east and the sun was hitting my white shirt. We got new Savior shirts for this occasion. DSL. Maybe when we get it, you can model your shirt since it is pirate themed. Yes. And that's the next show they all are doing. After Patience. After Patience. Yes, yeah, so Patience in 2021. And then Pirates in 2022. Pirates of Penzance. It'll be fun. People, everyone should do their part to try and get involved in Pirates of Penzance. So it's going to be fun. You can audition. What else can you do? Uh, you can volunteer at set building. You can volunteer in other ways that I'm blanking on. You can be a you can be a techie. You could be a techie. There will be a, a set change. Uh, so we will need people to change the set uh, during intermission. Buddy, you got a stop sign. Yeah, the stop sign's right there. I know. He was just going so fast. Anna can be an aggressive driver. Just a firm believer in if you don't have a license or if you don't know how to drive, you shouldn't have a license. Off the road again. Do you think we should get some uh, Saviour tunes? Yeah, we were we were thinking about this yesterday actually. I'm um, I know you're driving. I'm working on it. Um, oh, back to the sun. Um, we were talking about this yesterday about having uh, Gilbert and Sullivan in the background. We won't have it too loud, but, because uh, copyright issues. But, uh... It's not copyright. It's not, it is public domain, but the, it's because we're playing it by certain groups, and those groups can have copyrights because it's their material. Gilbert and Sullivan is public domain. Let's see, where is... I'm, I'm dumb. I don't remember how our app works. Okay, we're starting off with Patience, because Patience Week. Uh, if I can spell. How do you spell Patience? P-A-T-I-E-N-C-E. Albums. I want albums. Patience in albums. Driving past the public starting line way over there. But, um, wow, Apple Music really hating on Gilbert and Sullivan, there's nothing on here. I'm just gonna go to Spotify, because I know it's I on there. I don't have Spotify. I thought you did. No, I got rid of it. I oh. never used it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you want to download Spotify? No, I don't. They have trial. You can play trial, I know that. Okay, well, we're gonna start, instead of trial of patience, we're gonna do trial by jury. Starting off with trial on the day, heading out to our first location. Uh, Michael and Pam have been running for half an hour. So they've probably done about two miles, maybe three. Yeah. Um, we're heading out to our first location of many locations, Page Auditorium. Um, turn this down. This is actually distracting. <laughs> Look at me not planning properly. <laughs> so all of this is part of our eighteen thousand dollars for eighteen years campaign to celebrate working with Derek Ivy, our our artistic director for eighteen years. Uh, he was working with patients for this year as his last show with us, um, and unfortunately that had to be postponed. Um, 
he w is not working on patience for next year, so our new director, Melissa Dombrowski, will be our uh, director for patience in 2021. We're still figuring all of that out, but Pam is running a marathon as part of our fundraiser, uh, as part of the Durham Top Yards fundraiser. And there is a donation link in chat that Michael Rowe posted. You can also go to it manually at bit.ly slash donate yeah, the link's dash in the chat. to dash DSL. I'm just saying it manually. Well, yeah, but it's, it's in the chat, so they can just click the link. It's kind of fun to say it. Yeah, I guess. Hey, look, so what else running? Do you think they're running a marathon? No. no. We're going to see a lot of people running because we're near Duke's uh, East Campus, which has the, like two the more wall. people running. Yeah. So what's so cool about this wall, James? That everybody's running around it. <laughs> so how long is the wall? Uh, it's about 1.6 miles. Wow. Yeah, let's see if we can flip. Ooh. Yeah, so there's the wall. Well, there's part of it. But... So what's 26 divided by 1.6? How many times would you have to run around the wall? Uh, a little over 13. Nice. A little over 13 times. She's not doing that. Pam is not doing that. She's not running around the wall 13 times. She's running all over Durham. Take her right. Almost to our first location. We have to go a wonky way to Duke's campus because there's construction and my nose is being a pain. My nose is very sensitive with the green light. Um, my nose is very sensitive, especially outside. I have a small dust allergy. Hey, look, another runner. All you the runners. she's running a marathon? No. Babe, but a lot of these people are not going to be running a marathon. I think I'm gonna ask every single time. Okay. So get ready for Anna to be asking every time we see somebody running if they're running a marathon. We're just now getting onto Duke's campus. Hey look, he's taking a run. Do you think he's running a marathon? He is not <laughs> running a marathon. What if instead of asking if they're running marathon, how about we try and guess their distance? I don't know. That's what's fun about it. I don't know. I was at work and my boss told me to um, stand in front of the door and just make sure that no armed robbers were coming in because they were like <laughs> doing something with the tills Yeah. and a lot of money was being passed around essentially yeah and you know i'm five two i'm not very strong my boss was like yeah you're gonna fight off an armed robber so i stood in the door and every customer i was like what crime would they commit they were gonna commit a crime so you know some people i was like she cheated on her husband is that a crime no but it is in my heart that i mean that is fair i feel like that is a i feel like that should that, that could be yeah. Um, you know, he cheated on a test in high school. He definitely <laughs> murdered someone, but like on accident, but like it was third degree accident. You third know? degree accident. Like it was like he kind of wanted to do it, but it wasn't like he had planned it or anything. Yeah. Okay, we are on Duke's campus. Uh, we're currently driving past the hospital. Shout out to our healthcare workers. Uh, Speaking of our healthcare workers. If you want to come out and cheer Pam on, you have to be wearing a mask. It has to be covering your nose and your chin. And socially distant. And you have to be socially distant. So just... Yes. Yeah. Uh, there are certain locations on the map that I emailed out and posted earlier this week. Uh, I do not have access to put it in chat. Uh -oh right now because I'm streaming but on that map have, there are four locations with the blue circles that um, 
have an estimated time of arrival for when Pam is going to be getting to those locations. So if you want to cheer her on in person, you can be there, but you gotta wear a mask and be socially distanced. But yeah. I'm gonna take your charger here in a second. die in the middle of the street. That would not be good. No, it would not. Driving past Duke Gardens right now. In a few minutes we'll be arriving at our first location, Page Auditorium. I will be getting out and spending a few minutes at Page. And then we will be heading to our next direction. And of course, we left a little bit early, so we have, we are not a, in as much of a rush as, uh, as we thought we would be. Flip the camera here. There you go. Uh, Duke's Chapel is up in the distance. You can kind of see, there it is. Now it's coming into focus. There's Duke Chapel. Page Auditorium is right next to it. Let's see if I can competent. Listening to Gilbert and Sullivan in the background. Because it's one of those days. I'm not allowed to park here, am I? No, it's fine. Just like right here. I'm only going to be up for like five I know, minutes. I'm just going to idle. Cause it's yeah. Fine. Yeah. It's in my pocket. There's nobody else. I don't have to worry about it right now. Okay. I'm going out here. Okay. We're out here on Duke's campus for our first location, Page Auditorium. Now, Page Auditorium has been the Durham Shopyard's main performance venue for most of the existence of the Durham Shabby Yards, we first performed here in 1965. And we we performed there about every year. There were a few years where we switched to other locations. Our last performance here was in 2001. We did a second weekend of The Sorcerer at Page Auditorium. Our first uh our first weekend was in the Carolina Theater which we will get to later so I will flip the camera here there's Duke Chapel somebody else is out here also filming of some sort. No, I think they just don't take time. Okay. Walking up the stairs to Paige. Okay, I am at page. We are here. The main performance location for the German Savvy Arts for those many years from 1965 to 2001. We, uh, we've done many performances here, out, including outside of our main spring production we would do other small performances, uh, specifically in the 80s, I'm pretty sure we did, uh, Places Please, the Saviard Symphony, written by, uh, Ben Keaton, our music director at the time. 
so. That is our first location. And I have no idea where Anna went with her car. She left me. Y'all, she abandoned me. I have been abandoned out here on Duke's campus. Guess we're doing the live stream from Paige the rest of the day. Well, this is fun. <laughs> nah, she came back around. She didn't abandon me. Ah, uh, sunlight. I think Duke has an event going on right now because I see people and stuff. They're probably doing some sort of orientation. I don't know. Of course, she locked me out of the car. I'm glad you didn't abandon me. Yeah. Well, police were honking. Oh. So, because the bus was coming. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Let's do a record back. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got a new phone case. And there's a flap on the charger port. And it's such a pain. From time to time. So how was Paige? It was good. There was a, a person ahead of me who uh, was on FaceTime or Skype or something. And she was just taking her sweet time. I'm just like, I'm not wearing a mask. I don't feel like putting one on. Can you please just keep walking? And so she finally did keep walking, but then there was another guy. I think they have uh, some sort of event going on because there was this dude waiting patiently. And... It felt very awkward because he was just looking at me and I'm just like, okay, bud. You were just looking at him? No, I was trying to talk. <laughs> and I cannot talk easily when I'm distracted. Okay, so that was our first location. We went out to Page. Now we go to our second location, which is St. Philip's uh, Episcopal Church. Is that the one that's really far? Huh? Yeah, that's the one that's okay. really far. All of our locations are somewhere in the uh, in the general vicinity, except St. Phyllis, which is the farthest distance away from everything else. So this is the best opportunity for us to do that because we're just kind of chilling for a bit. Uh, we don't have to meet with Pam and Michael for another two hours-ish. So we'll probably be chilling out front of St. Philip's for a little bit and then we'll head to our third loca location after that and then we'll go meet up with them but yeah let me see yeah so that was Page Auditorium we switched between Page and Reynolds Theater which I believe is in the Student Union we switched back and forth from those two venues uh, every other year in the 80s but Page Auditorium was our main venue uh, but yeah what was your favorite show that they did at Page? I don't know that was before my time oh. I mean they performed in 2001 in Page the second weekend I was saying on the live stream that they performed at Page the second weekend of the Sorcerer in 2001 
but I was uh, one, not even one. I was like six months old, so I don't remember that. Yeah. I know my mom was not in that one because she was taking care of me because I was, you know, six months. You were a high maintenance baby. I was not high maintenance. Michael was more high maintenance than me. Yeah. Um, but it also kind of made sense because the sorcerer that year involved a lot of uh, heavy makeup and all that. So she had to focus on being the hair and makeup person, which is understandable. You're supposed to take a right. You can take a right at this light. Look, I don't live in Darrow, and I thought it was at this light. No. Well, so now that uh, we took a wrong turn, uh, we would be driving past uh, Sam's blue light. But we can turn around. No, it's not that important. It's get it's now condos, but it used to be a, a little shop. Uh, where we would get kegs for the party back in the day. We can hit it on the way back. No, because that's out of our way. It's fine. That was the main point was that we just got kegs for the party. Oh. It's now a party. Where do y'all get your kegs from now? Oh, we don't do kegs at parties. Oh. Or at least not at any of the parties that I've been to. No, I get that I'm underage, but I feel like I would know about that. <laughs> sunlight is out so it's last in my white shirt so I'll keep the camera up we got new Durham Savyards shirts from Zazzle uh, Zazzle I think it's dot com uh, but if you go to Zazzle and you look up Durham Savyards then we've got a bunch of stuff we've got uh, Radigore t-shirts we've got Mikado t-shirts we've got mugs we've got other shirts I've got a, a techie shirt uh, that has, that you can and you can customize all of these. So I've got a techie shirt that says set designer on the back, and then I'm wearing a new one today. I'll show you when it, I'm not being blasted by the sun. You can model it when we get to the church. Yeah, we'll be in the shade. Um, but it's got the DSL logo on the front, and it's got lyrics to Pirate King from uh, Pirates of Penzance on the back. the wall. It is the wall. Hey, weird. look, there's a runner. Yeah. What do you think his distance goal today is? Uh, you know, I think it's just to run around the wall. So 1.6? 1.6. What do you think about that woman on the other side of the wall? What do you think her goal is? Because we saw her at the other end of the wall. So probably the whole wall. The whole wall? Yeah. So was it 3.2? No, that's 1.6. Oh, I thought, well... All the way around is 1.6. What about, what about all those runners? Do you think they're all also going just around the wall, or do you think they're going further? Yeah. I think they're all just running the wall. I think he's going further. They look like a trainer and a, and a, and a trainee. I mean, maybe. We're driving, we're driving out to our second location. Hello. Hello. Yes, and Courtney says hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, we're driving out to our second location, St. Philip's Episcopal Church. Uh... And we'll be hanging out there for a little bit because we left a little early, so we've got some extra time to kill. So we'll be chilling around St. Philip's for a little bit, not too long, but long enough. Because this is when we originally thought we were going to leave, but that would just be, be us sitting in my house for an hour. And honestly, after 10 minutes, I was ready to get going. Hey. There's two more runners. What, two what do you more. think their distance goal today is? I have no idea. I think they look like they're in it for the long run. You know, yeah. I think they're going. I think they're going five miles okay. or more. For hello, 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 biker who doesn't know what he's doing. For those, uh, for those of you who uh, don't know what's happening, uh, Anna is asking me every time we see a runner 
weather distance goal is. Now, it used to be, uh, are they running a marathon? And the hey, answer hey, would be. I got a new question. Yeah. Why, oh, why can bikers not follow the rules of the road? I don't know. That's my question for today. That's my new question. It's, um, but yeah, so she would ask me if I thought they would be, if people would be running marathons. Um, and most of the time I would, I would say no, there weren't any yeses. So she's like, yeah, I'm just gonna ask you what their distance goal is. And I'm just, okay. Hey, look, two dogs. Yes. There, there are doggies. We've got Trial by Jury playing in the background because Apple Music doesn't have patience. I think you just looked it up wrong. Okay, look. <laughs> My red light, let me do it. And I'm just gonna look it up while we're at a red light. Safety first. Gotta follow the rules of the road. Drink some water. So we were just out at Page Auditorium. It's, it's patience, colon. Patience. And then it's I, just patience? Like yeah, what? just look at, type in Gilbert and Sullivan while you're at it. And you got a green light. Well, I tried it and it just came up with Gilbert O. Sullivan. Gilbert O. Sullivan? Yeah, I don't know who that is. That's not it. <laughs> I know. I will look it up while I talk about Paige. We were just at Hey, look, Paige. another runner. What do you think his distance is? Oh, my God. <laughs> Told you every time. What do you think his distance is? I don't know. I feel like he's also in it for the long run. I feel like, But I feel like he's going 10. Mm. Like, he's really pushing it today. Okay, I found Patience. We're going to start with that. We're just going to switch over to Patience now. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we were just at Paige Auditorium, for those of you who just jumped in. Um... And Page Auditorium was uh, our main performance venue from 1965 to 2001. Uh, we did switch off every now and then. Well, every other year we... Hey, look, another runner. What do you think her distance is? I don't know. I what think is... she's doing a short little run. I think she's just doing a two-miler. Uh, just around downtown. We performed there every other year. Uh, we also performed at Reynolds Theater, which is in the Duke student union um and we performed at other locations as well as we get further i'll talk more about them um but right now we're heading to st phillips yellow punch buddy and punch bags okay um I'm currently driving through downtown to get to st phillips st phillips is the farthest location that we have that we're going to um, and everything else is more clumped up together, but, yeah. So we'll be out there in a couple of minutes, and we'll be chilling out there for a little bit and talking about St. Phillips and their association with the Saviards, if most of you don't know it already. Tight roads. Well, there's construction on Main Street, so everything's a little tight. Bump, bump. Cool. What's on Pam's playlist today? You know, I don't know. I imagine it's a bunch of, uh, I think she's listening to Hamilton as part of her playlist. Um, and she might be listening to other stuff as well. I don't know what other... I think it's just a, uh, a potpourri of songs. Did you know that scientifically you want a song to have a le at least 120 beats per minute while working out? I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. What's your go-to workout song? I don't think I have a go-to workout song. You don't have any? No. Oh, of course is they're it, doing a thing. It, is it, is it, is it, is it? That is it, but... Go, go at the light and take a left at the light. There is a thing going on at St. Phyllis, so we're gonna uh, going to go around the block here. Something for the kids. Of course, they're doing a thing for the kids. So yeah, we'll just take a left here and go around the block. Band on the run, but singing Pam on the run. That's a good one. It's clever. Pam on the run. 
That's what she's doing, yeah. I know. I hear that song every day at work. It's on the Phil playlist. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing it. Whatever it is, we can't go in. Yeah, so, um, so go straight. Okay. And then take a left at this upcoming light. Okay. We're gonna come back around to it. We could, but we're not going to. <laughs> You're, you need to get over a lane, yeah. Here? Well, uh, yeah, go ahead and pull in here. No, uh, so... We can walk up. So, we're driving around right now, so there's not much to see, but once we get to the locations, that's when I tend to be showing things around. Uh, right now we're trying to figure out, uh, the, um... I'm gonna park right here. Yeah. Right now we're trying to figure out the St. Phillips situation because there's a, an event going on the, in the parking lot. So we'll park here and walk over? No, because that's a long distance. So? It's not that far? No, we can get closer because there's a parking lot up there. Okay. Yeah, so once we get out to St. Phillips, then I will show more of the buildings and all that. We were just out at Page. And I had Paige in the background as we were talking. Up here? Uh, yeah, go straight. So, yeah, so there's a, I don't know what the event was, but you can, um, let's see. I have to pay to park here, though. No, 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 in this parking spot, or in this parking lot. That's not paid park. That's free parking. And then we'll just walk over. This Don't is worry. reserved. It's fine. <laughs> if I get towed, you're paying for it. You're not gonna get it's the weekend. It's reserved during the week. The sign doesn't say that. Oh my goodness. It's fine. Getting out of the car, we're gonna walk up to St. Phillips. <sighs> Grab my water bottle. I'm grabbing my animals as well since she forgot hers. Okay. I have to get myself situated so I can flip the camera. I've got all of the things. Can you hold that? Just put it in your bag. Put my cards in my back pocket. Okay. So we're walking up here to St. Phillips. There's a... No, we're going to chill over here. Yeah, away from all the people. Yeah, there's an event going on in the parking lot uh, that we did not know about, nor did we predict. So uh, we had to do some maneuvering. But so, St. Phillips. I think he's running here, huh? I doubt it. We're gonna walk up here. So St. Phillips, we have a lot of uh, Savvy Arts members who are members of St. Phillips. And St. Phillips has hosted a lot of rehearsals and events for the Savvy Arts. Um, I think we're just gonna chill around here. Um, and they hosted our 40th anniversary celebration. It's a beautiful place. I've only been here a few times. Um, but yeah, so did a lot of uh, rehearsals. There was 40th anniversary here. Uh, a lot of other events. We own, we co-own with St. Phillips a set of Four Timpani. Uh, it used to be a three-way ownership with Longleaf Opera, but Longleaf Opera is no longer running. So now it's just us and St. Phillips. And this is so the St. Phillips stores the Timpani, and then 
every year for our main spring production, we, uh, we come and get them to use for our performances. But yeah, so we're just gonna be chilling out here for a little bit. Uh, what time is it? It is nine even. Nine o'clock. So yeah, we've got a while because we're not supposed to be meeting up with Pam and Michael until about 1030. So there's a chubby little dachshund on the other side of the street. Yeah, his dude walking his dog on the other side of the road. But yeah, out here at St. Phillips. It's a beautiful place. I'm not gonna go inside because I don't have access to that, but yes. And there's a, we were just out at Page Auditorium for those who missed it. Uh, and if, for those who missed it, Page has been our uh, main performance venue for a majority of the seven years existence uh, from 1965 to about 2001. Uh, performed there about every other year and all that. But Do you want to model your, your new shirt? Your new oh yeah, yeah, so we got, I mentioned a few minutes ago, we got new shirts and stuff uh, for this event from Zazzle. Uh, so I got the Durham Five Yards logo, mm -hmm. and then on the back it says, it's got the Pirate King lo uh, lyrics. Tis a glorious thing to be a Pirate King. From the Pirates of Penzance. I already, oh. yeah, um, yeah, so if you go on to Zazzle, you can get Durham Saviour shirts, uh, they are customizable, uh, I've got one at home that's got the Durham Saviour uh, logo on it, it says Durham Saviour's Techie Crew, and then on the back it says Set Designer, so it is customizable, hold this, I gotta get my, battery backup out. Five streams. They take your battery. They do. That's why you gotta prep. You gotta rehearse, you know? How long does the average Savvy Art show rehearse? Uh, a few months. We do it from January to March or April, whenever the performance is. Mm -hmm. So that's like four to five months of rehearsal. Um... No. Or do you not know? No, it's like three to four. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why are you messing my hair? Because you have dandruff. I do not. I'm just making you look nice. Did I forget the cord? I swear I didn't forget the cord. It's, there's one in my car. No, I put it in the side pocket. I remember now. I'm being dumb. Like always? Me. So James, I have a question for you. Bless you. Thank you. That Bless was you. not my question. My qu <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. This is why we wear masks. My question for you today is, um, what is your what is your dream Gilbert and Sullivan role? You know, I don't know if I have one. God, James, this is a live stream. You have to at least make up an answer. I don't know. Um, I guess it would have to be Robin from Rudigore. Robin from Rudigore? Robin from Rudigore. Rudigore is my favorite Gilbert and Sullivan operetta. So, that, I guess that would be my dream role. So, would be your, what's your dream one to design? The one you're most excited to design? Ooh, prob the one that I'm most excited about to design right now is Gondoliers. Um, because I learned a lot of uh, architecture history in the past year in Italy and Spain and Europe in general but I'm very excited to get working on that but that's not for a few years out um, we've got patience in 2021 uh, and pirates in 2022 yeoman and yeoman of the garden 2023 and then gondoliers in 2024 so we still got a few years but I'm excited for that one But yeah, so a few minutes ago I, in, in the chat, Pam has crossed the public starting line. So she's working her way towards Paige now. Um, 
we're well ahead of her. But we'll be meeting up with her in a bit. In a bit, we're going to be leaving here, heading towards uh, our next location, which is Camelot Academy, which used to be the Durham Arts Council. Um, but we'll be heading out there in a little bit. And then, uh, then we'll be going to meet up with her. So, what time is it? It is 9.05. 9.05? Wow. Let's see if I can show off more of St. Philip's while we're out here. Because it, it is a nice location, it really is. Again, I've only been out here a few times, but it's a nice location to be at. I've been to one or two services, and it's great services and all that. Come on, there we go. Okay. 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 So, I guess we can just head out to the next location. Sounds good. Sounds good. See more of St. Philip's as we walk past it. We were originally going to park in the uh, parking lot over there, but uh, there's a vent. You can kind of see the balloons through the trees. But yeah. So we're going to be heading out to our next location and I imagine we'll be spending some time there because we are well ahead of schedule. And I guess I can flip the camera around when we're driving so you can see downtown Durham. So now we're gonna head out to our next location. And honestly, after that, we can probably, if you want to still play chess, we can head out to the Carolina. That's not too early? No, I mean, we'll head out there to play chess and then we'll go out to okay. yeah. meet them. <laughs> 